is the National Institute in Japan. And today, uh, first of all, I'd like to thank the organizers for giving me an opportunity to talk here. I'm very happy to be um, here. <laughs> so, and, but I came from Boston because uh, I'm now a visiting researcher in MIT, and the um, professor in food groups. So um, I came from Boston. So uh, today, I'd like to talk about uh, time reversal symmetry breaking phase in a D-Wave nano islands. So uh, my collaborators are Dr. Ota, who is in the list co in Kobe, Japan, and uh, Dr. Tanaka is in University of Saskatchewan in Canada. And I, we submitted the result to archive, so if you are interested in our work, please see this paper. And this is outline. Um, first of all, I'd like to introduce the history of the time reversal symmetry breaking phase in D-Web superconductor because I think tw 20 years ago uh, there are uh, many papers. And I'd like to uh, show the model and the results. And we use the uh, volume of the jam equations to uh, obtain the ground state of the D-Web nano island. And the result of my talk is that we found the time reversal symmetry breaking phase in the low temperature region in Nano island, and we also found that vortex anti vortex pairs like this vortex and anti vortex pairs uh, appeared in the low temperature region. And as you, I think, I, as you know, there are under bound state ar around the surface of the DF superconductor. For example, this is vacuum, this is the DF superconductor. Then, of course, uh, there is a sign change in momentum space in DF superconductor. So, um, if the sign change occurs between scattering, then uh, there are the under bound states. So, this is the density of state as a function of the energy. So, we can clearly see the zero energy bound state. This is a conventional understanding of the underbound state. Recently, uh, we can also un understand the under underbound state with, uh, in terms of topology, um, and which, is pro which was proposed by Sato et al. And if we consider the, this same setup, then um, there is a momentum which is parallel to the surface. So this means that this momentum is good quantum number, so uh, we can uh, use the quantum this uh, momentum ky, then we can define the one-dimensional path in momentum space. In this case, on this path, uh, su the superconductivity of the DF, DF pairing uh, is gapped because the path is not crossing at the node usually. Then we can define the winding number. Then, and in this DF superconductor, there is a winding number one, finite winding number, and in the vacuum, of course, uh, this is a trivial state. So there are two topologically different states, gapped states. So in this case, um, there should be the zero energy bound state because this is a gapped state and this is also a gapped state, but topologically different state. Then if we want to change this gapped state to this other topologically different state, uh, we cannot change continuously in real space. This means that in at this boundary, um, the gap should be closed. So in D-Wave superconductor, uh, we can uh, understand the underbound state with, in terms of topology. So if the winding number with fixed ky, ky is the momentum parallel to the surface, is not zero, then the zero energy underbound under states appear. And recently, uh, I, I said uh, about the zero energy there are the underbound state, but recently there, uh, uh, there is not underbound state in theoretical paper and experimental paper. Um, Boronso proposed that if we consider the uh, finite with this D wave superconductor in the low temperature region, there is a, a translational symmetry bro broken phase and time reversal symmetry broken phase. And in experiment, in the YBCO group rates, uh, if we make the island like this, then uh, they said that uh, the ex excitation spectrum is gapped. This means that there is no zero energy underbound state. And recently, so, uh, theory group, um, Hakansson et al., who is in Sweden, uh, proposed that if we consider the uh, square shaped nano island, uh, then there is a uh, vortex anti vortex pairs along the surface like this. And they Claim that this is a necklace of fractional vortex. 
And this is a phase diagram. This is a temperature. And this is a uh, inverse of uh, widths of the uh, square nano island. Then we can clearly see that uh, in low temperature region, there is a time reversal symmetry broken phase. And there is no zero energy bound state. So I ha we have a question. Uh, why do the surface gapless states become gapped? To understand this question, we, <coughs> sorry, we use a discussion about topology. Because as I said, the underbound state can be understood uh, by the winding number, finite winding number. But this winding number is only um, defined in the presence of the time reversal symmetry. So if there is no time reversal symmetry, then there might be no surface bound state. And uh, we have also question, what makes these gapless states gapped? Um, uh, I, um, because, for example, in three-dimensional topological insulators, there are surface gapless states on the, these uh, materials. But if there are many, many uh, magnetic impurities, then um, this, this magnetization makes the gapless state gapped. But um, in this case, in DF superconductor, even if this is a clean sample, and there is a, a time reversal symmetry breaking phase. So I think there is no magnetization. And as you might know, uh, two, 20 years ago, a D plus IS wave state was discussed. For example, Fogenstrom, now who is in uh, Sweden, also in Sweden, Sweden and uh, this is an uh, amplitude of the order parameter. So uh, along the surface, uh, there is an uh, induced SA order parameter. I think there are many, many studies. And I think they, they have used quasi-classical theory or Ginzburanda framework. And I think the, they assume that the, there is an on-site SA pairing interaction. And, but uh, many D-wave superconductors, such as cuprate or heavy fermion superconductors, um, have uh, on-site strong repulsive interaction. So um, I want to know that, uh, I really want to know that, uh, I think there was a, uh, uh, many discussions 20 years ago, but I don't know the uh, final, final conclusion. So, but, I don't, but anyway, and I think there are many studies with using quasi-classical theory and Ginzburanda theory. But now we can solve the BDG equation, volume dujan equation directly in the D-wave nano islands because um, we have fast, strong computers and we have efficient method. So this is the purpose. We consider the D-wave nano islands and we use the BDG equation because all previous calculations were done in the quasi-classical or against random frameworks. But n nowadays, we can solve the boiler design equation directly because, um, as I said, there are many uh, big, big, strong supercomputers, and we also develop the new method to calculate the large scale BDG equations. So we consider the such kinds of diamond shaped nano island in the other space, and we solve the BDG equation and the gap equation self consistently. So I want to know what happens in the D wave nano islands in low temperature region. So I'd like to talk about model and results. This is a model. As I said, we use the BDG equation. This is the eigenvalue equation. And we consider the uh, two-dimensional square lattice with nearest neighbor in hoppings. And we also uh, have to solve the gap equation for D-wave superconductivity. This is a D-wave superconductivity. Uh, sorry. This is a gap equation for D-wave superconductivity. So this is a D-wave pairing channel. And this is a, a tight binding model, so we consider the nearest neighbor interaction like this. So we don't consider the on-site on -site interaction. And we solve, we have to solve the BDG equations and gap equations self-consistently. But this equation is a real space equation, and this is an eigenvalue equation. So this matrix is very big. So usually uh, we cannot solve this equation in real space. So we have to develop the method. We developed uh, two methods. First one is the reduced shifted conjugation gradient method, so-called uh, we call RSCG method. The point of this method is that the green function is an inverse matrix of Hamiltonian. This means that we can obtain the green function uh, to solve the linear equation like this. So and the uh, mean field value is the uh, sum of the green function. Then we can obtain the 
all the parameter with solving linear equation. But usually, uh, we have to solve the linear equations many times with, with changing uh, much better frequencies. It is very hard, so nobody wants to do this uh, calculation. But the RSCG method can solve these equations simultaneously. So uh, we can obtain, we can calculate the uh, pairing mean field simultaneously to solve the linear equations with using RSCG method. We wrote the paper about RSCG method, and I wrote the sample code uh, one week ago by Python. So if you are interested in this method, please see this paper and code. And I also, we also uh, developed the method, so-called sakurai Sugira method, which can obtain the eigenvalue in a given domain on a complex plane. In a complex plane. So we, because we have to calculate the f uh, free energy to obtain the ground state. So we have to obtain the all eigenvalues. So we use this method and this method. Then and we have a supercomputer, so we can calculate the um, volume jump equation self-consistently. This is a result. Uh, this is the order parameter as a function of the temperature. So this is a critical temperature, T Tc. Then and we can clearly see that um, this, uh, this at t equals 0.3 Tc, and uh, there is a phase transition. Above this Tc, we call Tcs. Above Tcs, and there is a pure D-wave superconductor in Nano Island. But below Tcs, and there is uh, another phase, uh, D plus S prime wave state. S prime wave state is uh, defined by this form. This is usually called extended S wave state. So. And I confirmed that in this region, high temperature region, there is a pure DF superconductor, so uh, there are zero energy uh, underbound states with solving the BDG equation. But in this phase, low temperature phase, and there is no time reversal symmetry, and there is no gapless state. But you might think that uh, this phase it might be a D, plus, D plus IS phase discussed 20 years ago. So we have to show the distribution of the order parameters in real space. Upper panels show that the low temperature region, and lower panels show the high temperature region. And this, these are uh, amplitude of the D-wave order parameter, and these are amplitude of the extended S-wave order parameter. And this, this is a phase of the D-wave order parameters, and this is a phase of the extended S-wave order parameter. So, in high temperature region, we can clearly see that there is no phase difference. This means that this is a pure DF superconductor. But in low temperature region, uh, this is a phase difference in the other space, in even in the D wave D wave order parameter. And if we focus on the phase of the extended S wave order parameter, there are of course um, phase difference in the other space. This means that this phase is complex D and complex S wave state. So I think this is not D plus I S phase. So I think this is new phase. But I don't know whether this is a truly new phase because uh, 20 years ago I, I, I was a junior high school student, so I don't know the old papers. So <laughs> anyway, and I would like to show the eigenvalues. And let Red color denotes the low temperature region, and blue color denotes the high temperature region. So we can clearly see that in the high temperature region, there are gapless states. And low temperature region, there is a gap like this. And we plot the temperature dependence of the gap like this. So um, above, uh, sorry, below 0 0.3 Tc, and then um, this uh, gap increases with decreasing temperature. And we also plot the amplitude of the extended SF order parameter at this point, then this temperature dependence is uh, strongly related to the gap temperature de dependence of the gap. So the, uh, this uh, gap is uh, originating from the um, appearance of the extended S wave. So in high temperature region, as I said, uh, there is 1D topological number which is protected by the time reversal symmetry, but um, in low temperature region, there is no time reversal symmetry. So there is no 1D topological number. We cannot define the winding number. But in high te low temperature region, there is a 
1D extended SA order along, only along the surface because the winding number is um, um, available, available along the surface, only along the surface. So this um, induced extended S wave order is on, only along the surface. And I would like to um, discuss about vortex and anti-vortex pairs. First, we uh, consider the smaller system size, six xi by six xi diamond-shaped nano island. Then there is no vortex anti-vortex pairs like this. This uh, this is the same figure. But phase changes along the surface, like this, uh, minus a pi to minus pi. Then what happens in the larger system size? So we increase the lattice size. So um, we consider the one, um, nine xi times nine xi diamond-shaped nano island. You can clearly see that the amplitude of the wave order parameter is very similar to that, that in low temper, uh, sorry, low small system size. But if we focus on the amplitude of the, the extended S wave order parameter, the amplitude is different like this. And of course, we can clearly see that the, there is a strong phase dif difference. And blue denotes the minus phase minus pi, and red denotes the phase pi. So we, this means that um, it's these two are vortex and anti-vortex. To confirm this, we calculate the zero energy local density of state like this. So and if we focus on this region, we can clearly see that there is a zero energy bound state. And also in this region, we can clearly see the zero energy bound state. And the winding is different. So this is the vortex and anti-vortex pairs. So um, this means that um, um, in low temperature region it, and relatively larger system, we, um, there are vortex and anti-vortex pairs. We solving the BDG equation. And we show the previous calculation. The, they said that necklace of fractional vortices. But in my case, this is integer, because the phase changes from minus pi to pi at uh, this vortex. And this means that this suggests this is the integer, and the integer vortex. And there is a general energy under bound state like this. So this means that in um, my cal our calculations, there are integer vortex and anti-vortex pairs. But we have to note that we, ca we don't uh, solve the Maxwell equation, so we cannot obtain the magnetic field dependence. But I think this is integer, so and, uh, we can see this uh, vortex anti-vortex pairs with using some uh, magnetic sensitive probe, uh, such as squid. And I think this, this difference uh, might be originated from the me uh, difference of the method. They, they use the quasi-classical method, but we a quasi classical appro approximation, but we don't use the quasi classical approximation. So I think the, these are differences. So um, I'd like to summarize my talk. We use the BDG equations in tight binding model, and to uh, to solve the to obtain the ground state, we developed a new method to calculate the la larger system size, and we found the time reversal symmetry breaking phase. And this phase is complex D and complex extended S wave state, which I think which is not the S plus I S wave state, uh, and which was discussed 20 years ago. And this uh, in high temperature region, there is one D topological number in D wave nano island, and this changes in low temperature region, this is a one D extended S wave order. order. And I, we also found the vortex anti vortex pairs. And we, um, these results uh, were uh, submitted to archive. So if you are interested in our work, please see this paper. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. So thank you very much. So the talk is open for questions. Or